welcome or welcome back into this video in my channel which is your channel we have a pomegranate in the house i have right here on deck the brand new holiday 2021 palette and if you are ready for today's video keep on watching Mwah. before i start this video i do want to say some words i'm sure by now everybody knows and mel thompson passed away a few days ago and this impacted our beauty community so 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 much it's crazy how much she was loved in one hand i'm like it's not fair it's not fair that she passed away you know and i keep thinking about her husband i keep thinking about her kids and i'm like oh my god and what are they going through it's not easy and i don't want to cry because i haven't even started the video and i can't mess up my makeup and then in the other hand i'm like you know what i do i'm a firm believer of things happen for a reason and things happen when they need to happen people don't deserve to be here with pain and suffering every day neither and i put myself in her shoes and i know that if i was her i didn't want her to be in that pain you know so sometimes we could be a little selfish because we don't want the person that we love to go watching her every time she uploaded a video was such a connection and we know how that is you know when we watch somebody that is a connection that happens you know it just happens and we actually don't even notice it when we turn around we already loving that person and caring about that person because we're watching that person every day and hearing that person every day we love you baby girl and you'll forever be a beautiful stunning flawless little angel Here we finally have the brand new Mother She Mega Celestial Odyssey Palette from Pomegranate. This baby is $78, made in USA, and this holiday 2021 collection came out with a lot of goodies. But she released the palette by herself not so long ago, and then a few days ago, she released the rest of the collection not sure why she did that like that she should have released everything together the whole collection comes with this baby of course which is the star of the show we're also getting two blush and glow trio and i'm not picking those up because i already have the blushes that i wanted from her but i'm telling you right now if you don't have any of her blushes run and the one that i'm recommending you to pick up is this one the one that have the paradise venus and the love truck which is these two blushes right here they are so pretty let me swatch both of them for you so you could just have an idea of how freaking pretty they look i don't have the highlighter but i know the highlighter is bomb look at this look at that look I really would have loved if she would have came out with this whole like palette situation sooner instead of coming out with singles. It's always better to have them in a palette. She also came through with two quads and they look stunning. I did pick them up, but I'm still waiting. You know how it is when we buy from her site. It's like a mission and a half, so we have to be patient. 
and a highlighter the packaging of the highlighter looks really really pretty she does have some good ass packages that she put together on her site so if you're planning to pick up more than one goodie go check them out but if you only want the palette or the blush and the highlighter trio they do have it available at sephora and sephora it's always faster with the chipping let's open up this baby and i got so excited when i got it today oh, this looks so pretty this red and gold and a little bit of pink packaging is like giving me life like it looks fun you know it's not like last year packaging that we're gonna talk about it in a minute but no comments this is nice man this is nice the same design in the palette and the box which i do appreciate that because i hate it bothers me when the design in the box it's prettier or better than the design in the palette because then i have to throw the box away and it's like damn no <laughs> it's a limited edition 18 shades presented in a silver bronze starscape balanced with a warm and cold tones Creamy textures and five finishes. Satin shimmers, 24K duochrome sparkles, foiled metallic, velvet matte, and iridescent sparkle. So let me show you how this baby looks inside. And it's not looking as best. I already dig in it. Of course, this look that I have on me, I did it with this beautiful palette. It comes with a nice size mirror. I still haven't took my plastic off. Palette comes with the little ribbons, one on each side, and thus so the mirror stays like that. You know? So you stand it in your little vanity and boom, 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 you do your makeup. It's cute. It looks super cute. But it's not my favorite thing to you know i don't know to to do like i'm not really a fan of the ribbons i even thought about cutting it but i know that's gonna fuck up my palette i know that's gonna look ugly and tacky so i'm not gonna do that i want to leave it like that everything else in the packaging is super pretty i so appreciate her including the logo in the center of it and the shiny background that just makes the palette more look serious more elegant i don't know like it just gives the palette a little bit more to it again the palette from last year i didn't like it at all i have it right here this is so boring look at the packaging besides that I'm not a fan of purples. You see the difference between these two palettes. Like this palette is just so much prettier than this one. Even though we are getting the same amount of shades in both of the palettes, we're getting 18 in the one from last year and 18 shades in the one from this year. The palette from this year, it is bigger. See? And thicker than the one from last year. Actually, a lot thicker than the one from last year this was already too big for me it's not easy to carry around it's not travel friendly and it does occupy a lot of space in your makeup collection so this one being bigger and thicker it's gonna be a lot more uncomfortable and we're getting the same amount in both of the palettes 19.8 grams 0.69 ounces so there was really no reason why she made the new palette Moving on to the application part of this video i'm gonna be showing you how i created this look which i'm so in love i love the whole combination of the pink with the gold and then the green is like bomb in your face oh, it's giving me summer vibe like so so summery i'm loving it with my bk beauty 201 i'm applying electric -y. it's a matte pinky shade and i want the shade peeking out when i apply the other colors so i am gonna bring it high up on my brow bone with a smaller blending brush i'm using my classic grease from sonia g i'm gonna go into saturn sunset if i'm not mistaken that is the name yes it's also a matte shade but this one it's a little bit more purpley i'm gonna start my outer v and i'm gonna apply it directly on my crease i'm gonna grab a little bit more and i'm gonna pack it on my crease first and 
and then I'm gonna blend it. Perfect. Yeah. I've got my Baking Beauty 201 and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the first shade I used and I'm gonna blend these edges right here to make sure I don't have no harsh lines. The name of the shades because I know it can get a little bit complicated. You're just gonna okay, this is the front of the palette. Flip your palette, and in the back of it, you have all the names. Literally, all you have to do is just look at the back of your palette, look at all the names, and just picture straight up the front of your palette, and that's exactly what it is. So the first one is literally the first shade of the front of your palette. The second one is the second shade, third, you keep on going like that, and then boom, 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 in the same exact order. That's it. Now we're gonna go in with the matte brown called Nocturne, Nocturne, however you pronounce that name. And I'm gonna be using my mini booster from Sonia G. And I'm gonna apply right here on my outer V. And with the tip of my brush, with whatever I have left, I'm gonna bring it right here on my crease. Now I'm gonna go back with my classic crease from Sonia G and I'm gonna blend this. So this brown does get a little bit patchy as you can see. See it right there? I'm just grabbing a little bit of the matte pink shade and I'm trying to fix it right here. I'm just blending it nice and soft. I'm using my black liner from Wayne Gash and, and I'm creating a messy wing right here on the outer VMI. Now with my mini booster from Sonia G, I'm gonna pick up No R Moon, which is a shimmery black shade. Make sure you dust your brush. And I'm gonna start blending the liner. Back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. And blend, blend in circular motions. Let me take this off. Mm, look, yes, look how freaking stunning. Next step, we're gonna be using my Shake Prime from KVD, and we're gonna do like a soft cut crease. Really, not even a soft cut crease. I'm just gonna be cleaning up a little bit. So you have to shake this. I'm gonna apply a little bit right here, like one drop. I'm gonna be using my P. Lewis brush. This is bomb. If you cut your crease a lot, you need this brush look at it it's perfect for cutting the crease that's my mirror after i have my product on my brush i'm just gonna apply right here on my lid i'm gonna do the shape of a cut crease jumbo blender brush from sonia g we're gonna go into lotus luxe and I'm gonna apply right here on my lid, starting from my inner corner. Look how pretty the pink is though. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna leave the center blank because I'm gonna apply a little bit of the gold. I wet my brush so we can see what's up. And yes, look at that, way more pigmentation and it's just easier to work with if you wear your brush. Look at that. Ugh. With the other side of the same brush, I'm gonna go into Gold Galaxy. First, I'm gonna show you how it looks dry. And I'm gonna apply right here on the center. So that have a lot of pigmentation, but let me wear my brush. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing the little detail right there with the gold. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Ref 03. You see how tiny this brush is? Super tiny. I am gonna wet it because I don't wanna create no mess. Let me pick up Gold Galaxy. And I'm gonna start really close by my tear duct. And I'm gonna create a line right here, right by where I cut my crease. I'm gonna do this with a detail brush or with whatever tiny brush you have. Perfect. I'm gonna wet my inner corner brush from Sigma and I'm gonna pick up this pretty ass green if I'm not mistaken it's called Citrine NB and this is gonna be the color that I'm gonna apply right here on my tear dog. Okay, so I finished up this eye and this is how it's looking. Let me show you really quick what I did on my lower lash. With my flat defender from Sonia G, I am going to wet it. And I'm going to use the green shade called Citrine NB, which is the same one that I used for my tear duct. And I'm going to apply it on the inner part of my lower lash. With the same brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the shimmery black and I'm gonna apply it on the outer part of my lower lash. I'm gonna merge the two colors together. I applied a little bit of my Marc Jacob liner on the shade Whirlpool in the inner half of my waterline and then now I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Gash black liner and I'm gonna apply it right here in the other half of my waterline. Okay, babe, so we are done with the application part of this video. I'm done with the look. I hope you like it. Now it is time for my final thoughts and no BS. And what do I think about this baby? I like it and I like it a lot. I enjoy playing with it. I'm ready to play with it again and create more looks. It is a perfect palette for summer. That's actually one of the first things that I thought when I first saw the palette in pictures. It gave me summer air. The green, the blue, it's just perfection for summer. And then that orange with the gold will make it look like a summer goddess. And it doesn't matter really what you mix with what, the pink, the brown. It's just one of those palettes that literally like open it up and just start mixing colors that trust me that it doesn't matter what you mix with what, it's going to look bomb in your eyes. This is just a fun palette to have overall. It's colorful, it's live, and even though it's colorful, the colors are not intimidating at all. So if colors intimidate you a little bit and you are not comfortable with colors yet, a palette like this will make you feel so much better. The shades, they had a little bit of fallout. That's the reason why I did my eyes and then my complexion. I actually expected it to have fallout. The palette from last year was terrible with the fallout. I mean, when you use this baby, make sure you do your eyes first and then go ahead and do your complexion and like that you're not gonna go through so much mission. Every single shade in this palette, it is so pigmented. The color payoff, it is totally there. So yummy. The same exact color that you see in the palette, it is literally the same color that you get on your eyelids. And listen, I did not like the palette from last year, but this baby, it is worth having. Especially for $78, a pomegranate palette, pomegranate formula, it's a deal and a half.
Now you let me know what do you think about the palette? Do you like it? Did you got it? Did you already try it all over your eyelids? Let me know. Drop that comment down below. You guys know I love chit chatting back and forth with you guys. So I want to know. I want to know all the tea. We finally made it to the end of the video. Thank you again for another great video. I love you all so damn much to the moon and back. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering subscribing and staying with me forever and ever. So go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on So YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos Mwah! See you on the next one